guys, Higgy Pop here in the Hawk's Nest. Thanks for joining me. It's a rainy Sunday here at the Hawk's Nest. And I'm down here because I have COD, Comic Book Obsession Disorder. All right. But I'm coming along. We're really cranking away with this uh, Operation Comic Book Freedom. I mean, check this out. I, I got this all bagged and boarded. I got this box down here bagged and boarded. All right. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere, man. And, uh... Yeah, it's helping me out, and uh, I'm, I was going to be down here anyways today, and uh, I says, let's grab the old camera, and you know what, um, you guys are the best, but I got a, a package in the mail, a package in the mail, yeah, yeah, package in the mail, you're like, what do you need a package in the mail for, look at all the comics you just got, I got this, I ordered this a long time ago, before Operation Freedom even came to fruition, and uh, here's Kissinger, look at this. This guy, this guy is having a rough go at it. I mean, this is his third pack of cigarettes since he came into my basement. This is Kissinger. And he was on a bender. He's not dead. He's 100 years old. But this guy parties like, uh, I don't know, Keith Richards. And uh, just take it easy, pal. I mean, look at this guy. He is on. Whew. He's not coming down. I don't know, man. Anyways. Yeah, so, uh, yep. We'll, uh. I got to look at the rest. Okay, let me show you what I got. I'm going to go over these today. All right? These right here. And, and the rest is over here. I already went over these and these down here. But this whole box needs to get done. But that's mostly like uh, X-Men, right? The guy was a big X-Men collector, apparently. And uh, I got to be honest with you, man. Straight up, I'm not the biggest X-Men nut. I mean, I'm a nut. But I'm not an X-Men. I, I like the, the some teammates on the X-Men all together, you know. But I never got into them. I, I never got into the rabbit hole. But I'll tell you what. What can I show you? I'll tell you what I did. I got a... Uh, what's it called? What's it called? Where is it? La, 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 It doesn't matter. I don't know where it is. I got... Oh, maybe I'll find it later. I, but I got a whole volume of all these trades that come together in a collection of one of their storylines and that one i didn't like but i have a lot of their trades that i did read that i like some of their stories like uh, let's see stuff like this um you know this was always good this was a great one this graphic novel by christopher claremont you know claremont was always great with john byrne and um yeah Oh, this one here, too. Look at this. Ah! This one over cheer. This one, this story from Bizarre Adventures. Great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. And, uh... Where do I have those other books? I wanted to show you something. But that's all right. Oh, let's open the package. So oh, Sonia's not here. She went out to the Barbarian Ball with Kazar and he got in real late last night, so... Uh, Hawkwoman! There you are. Can I just get the sword, please? Thank you, thank you. My letter opener. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'll uh, I'll hang the reeds and we gotta decorate for Christmas. You know, gotta get in the spirit. I'll hang the reeds and stuff. I'll get it out of the shed and hang all the reeds. I'll be right there. All right, where have we got this? Here? What do we got? All right, let's see. Here's my letter opener right here. All right, it's a little Sumerian steel. Here we go. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, yeah, if I get it right in there. Yep. Yep. All right. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see what we got. All right, that's it. Okay, I like these boxes. It's, it's like a transformer. And let's see. Oh, I got two comics. I ordered, I only ordered one. Let's see. I'll show you what I got. This is an extra. This is an extra he threw in. I'll show you that first. This is, I didn't order this. This is a uh, condition of, whoa, plus a green lantern and green arrow. This is issue number 111, it looks like. And there's the Sentinel, also known as Alan Scott, the Green Lantern of Earth 2. All right. I don't know if I have this one. This is cool. The danger to the universe is too great. You need help from me, the magical Green Lantern. All right. Mike Grell on the cover. Awesome. Awesome. We're going to see a lot of Mike Grell today. 
All right, man. But let me show you what I ordered. Here we go. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You know, I had to do it. I had to do it. Um, let's see. Give me a second here. Um, this is it right here, boys and girls. World's Finest, issue number 100. Boom. Yes. Yes. The cover is by Chris Swan and Stan K. Look at this. Just take it all in. And if, if, if it, you know, there should be a Tomahawk story in there. And there should be a Green Arrow story. Oh, World's Finest, issue number 100. Awesome. We got to look at this. The Planet Krypton. Batman, Superman. The me mechanism to bring you back to normal size has been destroyed. Way to go, Robin. I give you one job to do. How many times do I have to smack you across the face? Oh, awesome. Issue number 100. I saw this on Facebook Marketplace for like uh, $18. And I said, it's not in the condition of, whoa. I'll, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you. This looks like it's in pretty dang good shape. Pretty dang good shape. Not bad. I mean, it's it's a golden age. Here's the back cover. Looking good. This is a... Uh, this uh, World's Finest Story was written by... Here he is. Look at that guy. Hey, how are you? Which way to the gym? It was written by Bill Finger. You know, the Batman fame. And he got... Uh, he got done over by... Uh, what's his face? The other Batman creator, so-called Bob Kane. Anyways, Bill Finger is awesome. And uh, his, his middle name, it's, I told you this. It's, a lot of people don't know this. Bill Finger's middle name is a Yiddish name. It's uh, Pull Me. Bill Pull Me Finger. <laughs> um, look at this. Look at this, baby. Yes. World's Finest 100. Looking good. Very happy. I can't wait to read this. There's the Bottle City of Candor. Boom. And let me see if there is. There's Lex. <laughs> There's Batman punching someone right in the jaw. jaw. All right. A lot going on. A lot going. A lot of good action here. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Tomahawk. Bob Brown did all the Tomahawk art. Early Tomahawk art. Oh, yeah, look at him. Look at him go. Love it. Love it. And I think, I think, Green Arrow. Look at that. That's awesome. Him and Speedy. I told you about Speedy. Yeah, the last video. You know, Speedy, He originally when he came out, the creators were like, well, I got a new character. We're going to call him, not, no, not Speedy. We're going to call him Speedo. I mean, that didn't go over well. This kid's running around with a grown man, and this kid's running around with a Speedo on. No way! It didn't work out. There he is with his magic arrow with a, with a boxing glove on it. Isn't that great? Oh, this is fun. This is fun stuff. Fun stuff. Oh, great stuff. All right. I just wanted to show you that. Got that in the mail. Boom. All right. This was in uh, March, March of '59. Those were the days. I was not born yet. You know, my my dad was around. My dad was born in '37, so my dad was 22 years old. He was feeling his oats. Already married to my mom, Mom Higgy. And uh, yeah, so my brother's going back this Wednesday back to Colorado. The Colorado kid. And it was great having them. And uh, so I will be hanging out at my mom's a lot more, you know, which is fine. I love it. And uh, that's all. Let's start looking at these. Let's start looking. We got Warlord, Mike Grell Awesomeness. This is from Operation Comic Book uh, Freedom. And uh, there's a plus, there's an OMAC story. This is Warlord issue number 42. I probably have all these. I have very little Warlord I still need to get. Let's see. Warlord, issue number 43. And um, it's going to be good. Nostradamus. 
He wants my world's finest. He ain't gonna get it. The words. Get out of here. Go. Get. Go on, get. Go on now. Ah, ah, this is a golden age, Jen. Good job, Higgy. Ah, good for you. Very nice. Get out of here, Master Thomas. Oh, I tell you what, you can stay. Tell him the uh, premonition dream you had. Oh, I had a premonition dream. This may happen, it may not. If DC Comics comes into a recession or hard times, they will sell off the Batman title. Is that good news or bad news? If they want to save their company, they will sell Batman off. This was in my dream. I am speculating, of course. But... Does that leave more time for them to write about your favorite characters and heroes? Ah, yet to be seen. Ah, ooh. All right, thank you for sharing your premonition in your dream, but you're done here, buddy. I told you, I'm just in this, I'm a collector. I'm a collector, bro. Like I'm on a sell. I just got this thing. Like I'm going to put it on the market and try to price it up or something. This is sentimental stuff. I told you. We have to take care of these comics. It's our job to, uh, you know, look after these. For the generations to come. All right. Back to Operation Comic Book Freedom, which is what this is all about. Warlord, issue number 44, The Gamble. And there's an Omax story. Awesome. There's that lady that turns into a cat. Warlord. Extra Omac. One Man Army Corps. Warlord issue number 45. Nightmare. Awesome stuff. What a great series. Lasted a long time. I loved reading it, man. I loved reading it. Warlord issue number 46. Enter the Lost World of the Warlord. XB Destiny. Another Omac extra story in there. Awesome. I got a nice uh, Omax series that came out done by John Byrne. I should show you that someday. The Warlord, issue number 47. Hunter's Moon. Look at that. Look at that art, man. Look how... Look at... Just look at it! Great. Warlord, issue number 48. This is The Return of the Claw. The Claw. The Claw debuted in a Warlord uh, comic. Boom. Great stuff. And an instant collector's item from the D new DC. Extra. Introducing Arax, Son of Thunder. We, well, I went over Eric a long time ago. He was the best. The best. Warlord issue number 49. Something Evil. Look at that helmet. Isn't that great? Look at the helmet. Oh, yeah, baby. Warlord is featured in Tom King's Danger Street, which is the last issue should be coming out soon. Awesome. Warlord, issue number 50. Classic. See the film Superman. Huh. I've seen it. And issue number 52. Back in the USSR, one of my favorite covers. It's just Warlord running across a glacier, getting shot at by a fighter jet. Look at that, man. Very dynamic. He's got a pistola in one hand. I mean, just great stuff. Shooting through his fur cape. Awesome! Warlord! Following the epic battle of Dragon's Sword. The Sorceress Apprentice. A bold new look for the Warlord. He's got a new look. He's got a new look. Good stuff. Good stuff. And, okay, now we're good. switching it up. Switching up, this guy had great taste. I still have the forensics work getting done. I'm going to find out who this guy is, and I'm going to thank him. Uh, 
DC Comics Presents, I went over this uh, series, uh, one of my early uh, attempts at making a video. Issue number 36. That's another thing. This is, that's another version of Starman, all right? And uh, it's fun, 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 till my daddy took my T-Bird away. I never even finished going through all the uh, DC Presents. I think I stopped that issue like number, I don't know, somewhere in the 70s or 80s. DC Presents, issue number 37 with Hawk Girl. Whatever happened to t uh, Rip Hunter the Time Master on the bottom? I've been eyeballing the first appearance of Rip Hunter in a showcase comic. It's at Second Alarm Comics. I've been eyeballing it for over a year. <sighs> one of these days, man. One of these days, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to rob a bank and buy it. All right, DC Comics Presents. This is a classic issue number 33. Superman and Shazam. Captain Marvel. Right, Shannon? This is Captain Marvel, not Shazam. And DC Presents. Issue number 34. The Superman and the Shazam family. Awesome. These are such fun reads, man. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Now, awesome. Action comics. I had I I actually don't have some of these. This is so much fun, man. Action comics, issue number 517. Also, an Aquaman story. I'm gonna read these tonight. I, I love just sitting down and reading some action comics. Action Comics issue number 518. Great Krypton! Why would those aliens want to steal a huge dam? Damn! Yeah, so Colorado kid, he's got to leave. I was thinking, you know how I said he doesn't remember a lot of things? There's another thing that happened, right? When we were kids, we used to build, all the kids in the neighborhood, we used to always build forts. And these things were, they would come out pretty dang good. I mean, we should be contractors. You know, we'd get wood, we'd build some nice forts out in the woods and stuff. And But I was always the youngest, like I said, so they, they was like, Oh, Jim, go over there and get some nails. Go back home and get us something to drink. Jim, go get that. Go. We need a shovel. Go home. And I'm like, okay. You know? And then one day, I was up uh, in the fort. This was a tree fort, this one. And I'm way up in the tree fort. And th him, my brother, Colorado kid, just down on the ground with a, a couple of his buddies. He's like, oh, Jim. Give me that hammer that's up there. I was like, I was so, I was so sick of this behavior. I was just like, you want the hammer? I was like, Thor. I was like, here. Shoosh. I threw the hammer. He's like, he looks like, and it goes, bong, off his head. And he was mad. He came up into the tree fort like, uh, I don't know. He was like doing high hurdles. And he was like, never, 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 never. Uh, Action Comics, issue number 519. So I never hit him with a hammer again. And, uh, you know, and then I remember one time, this was the same fort. They were sick of me hanging around. So they, they, uh, they locked me inside the fort and they all ran off. And I'm like, let me out, let me out. Right. And then I, I saw that they had like a, a nice styro. Remember those coolers that were made out of styrofoam? And I was all mad and they, I couldn't get out. So I just belt busted it up into a million pieces. And then they came back. They let me out like an hour later, and they saw the, uh, the cooler all busted up into pieces, and they were all four of them like going, never, 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 never. So I never broke anyone's styrofoam cooler ever again. All right, Action Comics, issue number 520. Attaboy, Superman, stop that menace. No, you can't leave me here alone to face the greatest danger of my life. Go, Superman, go. Action Plus with Aquaman. Awesome. There's no Dial H for Higgy in any of these. I'm working on a brand new Dial H for Higgy uh, comic cover featuring me, uh, Dr. Silveridge, and uh, Shannon Solid Force Ben. It's going to be an action thriller Dial H for Higgy. Wait till you see it. All right. Action Comics. Issue. Woo! We have what they call in the business a key. All right? I already have this. It's hanging on the wall. This is Action Comics issue number 521. It is the first appearance of Vixen. I love Vixen, all right? I, I you know, just, she's in, um, Brad Melt Metzler uh, is, a, is a writer, and he wrote for a couple different uh, stories for JSA and JLA, and uh, he did some good writing featuring Vixen in those storylines, and he did a great job. And this is the first appearance of Vixen, Action Comics issue number 521. This is in better shape than the one I have hanging on the wall. So I'm gonna swap it out. If anyone wants this, give me a ring, man. 
This is a cool. I have I have a lot of collections of Vixen. Like there's, she has her own solo runs in in the past. I can show you those someday. She's a cool, cool character, man. All right, check her out. She wore that mask. She has the amulet around the amulet around her neck. Good stuff. Good stuff. She's a model. Or a little tiara. No. Action Comics issue number five hundred and twenty-two. Clockman. This is Clockwork Man. I don't know if I have this one. Is that the Adam, my little buddy? Action Plus with the Adam. This covers by Buckler and Giordano. Action Comics, issue number 524. You've been masquerading as Clark Kent long enough, Superman. Now it's my turn. And also Airwave and the Atom. This one has a little water damage. I don't think I have this one. Cool, cool. Ah, now we have a little Justice League of America. Issue number 194. Death is in the cards. This was a fun time for a little JLA. Why not? Good stuff. Good stuff. Back to Action Comics. Issue number 525. Revenge at last for turning me into Neutron, the living bomb. Hey, hey, hey. It could be worse. I could have turned you into the living turd. How's that, pal? Yes. Yeah, it was cool. The other day I went over and I, I got a bunch of micro knots. Oh, yeah. That really helped me out because I needed to, I wanted to work on micro knots. Yes. I have a friend who, uh, he's, he doesn't know anything about micro knots, but he suffers from uh, micro crotch. Poor guy. Um, he's still single because of his micro crotch. All right. Issue number 526, Action Comics. I got this one. Love it. Love it. Justice League, here we go. They were out of order a little bit. Justice League, issue number 190. Awesome cover with Starros. All the little Starros are on everyone's face. They're like... Oh, 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 oh. Justice League of America, issue number 191. Amazo is clobbering our buddies. You've got to do something to stop him, Zatanna. Heaven help me, Adam. I can't. I've lost my magic powers. Buckler and Giordano on the cover. Well, start talking backwards. If she started using her powers on Amazo, then Amazo would have her powers. Come on! All right, Justice League of America, issue number 192. Learn the astonishing true origin of Red Tornado. Nice, nice. Classic, classic stuff. Fun times. This one has a lot of water damage. Justice League of America, issue number 193. The ultimate origin, Red Tornado revealed. An instant collector's item from the new DC. An all-new All-Star Squadron and a special free 16-page comic. Uh, we got a lot going on. We got a lot going on. Yeah, it's raining outside. All right, listen. I got it. I'll be right back. Hold on. I'll be right back. This calls for a special occasion. This is like a flashback episode for Higgy. Oh, yeah. Yes. You remember these days? Arak, Son of Thunder. Woo! Yes. And this, this collector was so nice to have issue number one. It was great. What a story. What a story. When he was a young lad, he got pushed, you know, it's very detailed. I, went, I made a whole video on the whole run of uh, Arak, but uh, he ended up with, on this Viking ship. And uh, yeah, man, cool. Cool. Airac issue number one. Oh. He has Airac issue number three. Yep. There's Valda, the Iron Maiden. Airac. And I still have to bag and board. I missed a couple. No, what's that? Airac. Airac issue number five. 
Tournament, Tournament of the Titans. He's fighting some knights. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Eric. Issue number six. The Stalkers of the Snow. Ernie Colon. Ernie and Gene Colon on the cover. And Eric. Issue number four. Boom. Gene Colon and uh, Giordano on the cover. And that's as far as he went with the air racks, man. But good, good on you, mate. Now, this is for my buddy Rod. He does have a couple of these. The Flash, issue number 299. If the Black Shades, Black Plague doesn't destroy you, Flash, then the Rainbow Raiders Spectrum Doom will. He's going against the Shade and the Rainbow Raider. He's having a hard time. Cool. Cool stuff. The Flash. Issue number 298. Battling the Shade. One of Hawkman's villains. And Starman. Oh, yeah. The Shade gets around. The Flash. Issue number 301. Boom. Cool, man. And now we're going to kick it. This kid, he was into, this was the time. This was the time back in the day, 80 and 81. Star Wars, issue number 45. There's Luke. All right, we'll put that right. Yeah. Star Wars, issue number 46. A living nightmare stalks the universe. Dread not devour. I do have some Star Wars down there. Star Wars issue number 47. Droid World. I'm C-3PO. Star Wars issue number 48. The Third Law. Leah versus Vader. Star Wars issue number 49. The Last Jedi. Cool, buddy. Cool. Cool stuff. Star Wars! Super Size Star Wars Saga. Giant 50th Collector's Issue. Awesome. There's Lando. Remember Lando? Remember when uh, uh, they're flying away? They're escaping and Lando was uh, driving the ship. And they're like, we gotta go back! We gotta go back! We ain't going back! No way! We then the Chewbacca goes... All right, all right. <laughs> Lando, it's that like Colt forty-five. Yeah, Chewie was Chewie was like, uh, he was all like, uh... <laughs> see, these are things you need. You need a Chewbacca mask, and you always need a werewolf mask, and you need uh, air rack garb at any time. You never know what's gonna happen. And Star Wars issue number fifty-one, Resurrection of Evil. Boom. And Star Wars issue number 52. There's Darth Vader. And Star Wars issue number 53. A Stormtrooper. Star Wars issue number 54. In the name of Darth Vader, destroy them. And issue number 55, Star Wars. These are in pretty good shape. It's funny how some have water damage, some do not. All right. And let's see here. All right. Now, I think I'll just finish it off by showing you... Uh, Savage Sword of Conan, issue number 62. Awesome. Awesome stuff. I mean, look at this stuff, man. Huh? Look at this stuff. Fun. Fun stuff. Alright. I could I could get mesmerized by 
an issue of Savage Sword of Conan and just sit there all day. Read it, and then I'd start drawing. I'd make my attempts at drawing, and then I'd read another one. Awesome. Uh, Savage Sword of Conan, issue number 63. Beautiful cover. Beautiful. That's how you draw a horse. Um, I struggle drawing horses. I, uh, I do my best. I do my best. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Conan. You know what I'm saying? Always gets the dame. And Savage Sword of Conan, issue number 64. Wow. If I saw one of those things, I'd be like, um, can you start the car? Um running your direction if i was with someone i would trip the person i was with and i'd run and remember that time i had the snake in my comic room the snake actually uh it grew boobies and turned into a woman just like this that's the part i didn't tell you all right it was weird this is issue number 65 boom all right all right i'm gonna leave it there guys i got more savage sword to go through I got uh, some X-Men I'll show you. I'm not going to show you all the X-Men, I don't think, because I don't know what I'm looking at. And it's just, I don't know. Guys, you're the best. You're the best. Hold on. Hold on. This is for Beckerman. I got to, uh, you know, I'm going to sing a little something. I got it. It's Sunday. I got, this, I got the Hawkman Blues. You know, what do we got here? Let's sing a song. Uh, let's see. Let's sing this one. This is an old Easy Comic Reader special. Oh, yeah, baby. Come on, now. Oh, yeah. Here it is. <laughs> From Kazar to Justice Society, the hawk's nest has a lot of variety. Can't go wrong. Read what you like. If you're grumpy, you can take a hike. You comic peeps are the best. Open up a Conan and beat my chest. I might only own one shirt. Not worried, I got Joe Kubert. Love the stories and the art. Read your comics, cause they make you smart. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining me on uh, Operation Comic Book Freedom. We're working our way back to you, babe. Read your comics, they make you smart.